right, don't mind the poop. These uh, ducks are pooping machines. So they are getting too big for this, um, this thing. So I'm going to set up um, a new space for their bin and all of this. So yeah. All right, so I used our old dog cage and I put some old blankets and towels in there. So that's like their drying station with their lamp. Then I got this little fencing at Walmart for $14. So I put that up to keep the tiny dinosaurs in here. Laid down some puppy pads to protect my floor. And then this is their old bin. Um, as you can see, they uh, take up the, the majority of that. And I have their water in here, their food in their mirror. Um, so they can um, eat and drink in here, come out here into their run and walk around. They have the big mirror there that they play in. And then they have their warming station that I could turn on their light. They are a month old today, so during the day I'm going to turn off their light and um, during the night they'll have their light back on. What are you doing? What are you doing, peeps? <laughs> Alright, today is Sunday. It's my day off, um, so I need to get this house I'm a bit overwhelmed today because it is the duck's one month uh, birthday. So they've been with us for a month and been born for a month. Today is the girls' third birthday. Marley and Liv turn three today. Um, so it's their birthday. They turn three. This house is a mess. I have laundry out my butt. I have cleaning to do. I'm trying to help Anthony install an invisible fence because the girls keep on getting out and running the streets and I don't want them to get hit. We've literally tried everything. Nothing's working. So we are going with the last option in our book, which is the invisible fence and being shocked. So I didn't want to go that route, but I also don't want to pick them up off the road dead so we have to do that today I have a whole list of cleaning to do and to do's to do trying to read about the fence so I'm a little bit overwhelmed and um, I don't know where to start I guess I should start by getting dressed first take a deep breath We're going to just try to accomplish as much as we can today. So we got the um, invisible fence put in. Um, and we had a real hard time with it because we didn't ever put a fence in before. So um, we didn't know what we were doing. So I called, texted the neighbor because they have one. And um, she helped me out a lot. So we got it to work. Um, and now we're just waiting for the inevitable shocks. And Liv got it one time. And my heart is breaking. <laughs> I know that's so stupid. <laughs> but I just feel so bad. <laughs> and I know this is like the best thing for them and it's going to keep them safe and not run away anymore but my heart is like my soul is being tortured that's how I feel I feel like my soul is just like being tortured and I know that like just a few times and they'll like know their boundaries and it'll be okay in a few days but I just feel really bad <laughs> like really bad and like I have 
have so much anxiety. <sighs> like I don't want them to be like real bad hurt. Holy crap. I'm gonna just breathe. Just like that anticipation of them being shocked is like literally torturing my soul. <laughs> like it's so bad. And I keep checking on them. This is so bad. Anthony's fine with it. time with this invisible fence. Oh. Girls! Oh my gosh. It's the girls' birthday. He's trying to give ice cream. Hey, come on, you want this? They're mad at us because on, they, they get shocked. They have shock collars now and they're upset. Yeah. Okay, Marley, are you in here? Marley's in up. there. Oh wait, Liv's in here. Okay, Marley's back the hall. Okay, Marley, back the hall. Come on, Morley May. You have to separate them because they have food aggression. Come on, Morley May. Um, Morley here. And yours, if you yeah. don't separate them, they'll move. fight over the <laughs> Snoopy at yours. Ice cream. We're gonna pick it up and walk it around. Yep. He picks his up and he takes it to where he needs to do that. Come on. Needs to take it. it. Come on, Liv. Come on, Liv. Come on, baby. Give me your ice cream. Come on, give me your ice cream. Okay, we'll wait here and eat it. Spoiler, you can lay on the couch and eat your ice cream. <laughs>